Here, let us perform an activity to observe transpiration in plants. Click each tab to know more. Take a well-potted plant and a polythene bag. Now, cover the bag on the leaves of the plant and tie it tightly at the base of the stem with the help of a band. Place this arrangement in sunlight for 4 to 5 hours and observe the changes. Drops of water are observed on the inner side of the polythene bag. Now, let us perform the same activity during night time. After covering the leaves of the plant with a polythene bag, leave the plant aside for 4 to 5 hours and observe the changes in the polythene bag. A few drops of water are observed on the inner side of the polythene bag. From this experiment, we learn that more amount of water is evaporated from the plants during daytime when compared to nighttime. This process of evaporating water from the leaves into the atmosphere is called transpiration. Transpiration mainly occurs through the stomata of the leaves. The stomatal pores get opened and closed according to the weather conditions. During daytime, the rate of transpiration is high because the stomatal pores get opened. During nighttime, the rate of transpiration is low because the stomatal pores get closed. The process of transpiration is more important because it produces a cooling effect and saves the plant from the hot sun. Based on the experiment, it is estimated that the plant uses only 0.1% of the absorbed water to form carbohydrates and the remaining amount of water gets evaporates into the atmosphere due to transpiration. For example, if a plant absorbs one liter of water from the soil, out of this, only one milliliter will be used for the formation of carbohydrates, while the remaining 999 milliliters get evaporated from the leaves.